You are listening to Hello Cupcake, It's Me, a podcast with your host, Michael Peterson. Hey everyone, Michael here with Hello Cupcake, It's Me. It is now 2023, and thanks for hanging with me. So, man, those holidays were brutal. And I am 100% convinced that shopping the week before Christmas and, like, the last couple of days right before Christmas is more brutal than Black Friday. I will die on that hill. Fight me if you will. Um, but yeah, man, I went shopping right before, I went shopping that like weekend before Christmas. And then I did some more shopping like that Wednesday, right before Christmas. And Jesus Lord have mercy. If there was not like everyone like, way to wait until Mary's water broke to like go out and get presents that you had 364 days to like do so. But thankfully there wasn't anyone who was overtly rude or just asshole ish outside of like the normal holiday drivers and the fact that, you know, mother nature decided to drop like a foot and a half of snow on us. And so everyone was driving around at like zero miles an hour. And uh, like, I understand wanting to drive slow and safely, but at the same time in certain situations, driving too slow is actually just as dangerous as driving too fast. Um, growing up out in the desert, we learned, or it was taught to me anyways, that if you're going to go up a hill, you have to have speed to make it up that hill so that you're not putting strain on your engine and you're not going to lose your momentum because going up a hill and you're on sand and stuff like that, you start to slip slide and you can fall and like crash. And so same kind of principle, you go up a slope, you go up a hill that is full of snow and ice and you're not going fast enough. You're going to start drifting to the side or spin out of control. And there were so many people who like just completely spun out of control. Like, I felt sorry for the tow truck drivers. I, I really, really did because at one point on my way home, I saw 12 tow truck drivers all from like different companies or whatever, but still just like 12 different tow trucks out there pulling people out of ditches and whatever else, because people just don't know how to fucking drive. And it's one of the biggest gripes I have with this state is the fact that people don't know how to drive. They come here from like California or just like Arizona or whatever and have no idea how to navigate in four seasons. I, I don't know, but enough of that. So, um, we, my family this year, we actually did Christmas a little bit different uh, because a family member had to have surgery done and they had it on the 21st of the month. And it was one of those situations like if you wait until after the first of the year, you're going to have to come out of pocket like five grand versus if you do it now, you're uh, covered completely by your insurances. And it was like, well, shit, okay. So, um, we postponed it until the 31st. So my family and I just had Christmas this last Saturday and it was really nice. The whole family got along really well. There was a lot of laughs. There was a lot of fun. Um, just kind of 
interesting to see what we got each other and stuff like that. So it was really blessed. And, you know, I, I'm glad that it's over with though, because I have so much anxiety leading up to the holidays. And then like usually from Thanksgiving to Christmas morning is just full of stress for me. And I try to do shopping all year long. And for whatever reason, I got none of that done this year. Like I got a few things here and there. And um, I, I'm also one of those people that as I do shopping for people, I put stuff away like, Oh yeah, I gotta, I gotta squirrel this away. So then that way I can give it to them for Christmas. And then when it comes to like the last two or three weeks before Christmas, I'm like, Oh shit. What did I do with that stuff? So yeah. Um, kind of interesting, but you know, I just, I know I got to start planning better for next year. It's not like it doesn't come the same time every year. The day changes, but the date doesn't change. So, um, I'm going to start my shopping probably in April or June of this year and just start building up little pieces here and there because, you know, I live on a fixed income and I can't just like run out and buy a whole bunch of stuff for people and call it good. Like last day of the week type situation. Uh, this year though, you know, I was, I was fortunate enough to have a few extra dollars so that I could get some people at least a little something, but it was like nowhere near what I felt that it, that they needed so i did a lot of couples gifts also so like for my niece and her boyfriend i did um basically two couples gifts now that i'm thinking about it and then uh for my sister i did a couples gift for her and her boyfriend and then i got each of them something separate so um yeah it was just you know however however it decided to work out but Oh man. And, uh, been going to the YMCA quite a bit still and really enjoying the hell out of that. Uh, this last Monday I had to, uh, give them all a crash course on what it was like to be a diabetic and what to look for if I should start to show. So <laughs> sorry, show signs of uh d distress and duress and uh had to show them how to use my glucose monitor and stuff like that and uh just basically you know if you see me having any kind of issues uh and i'm knocked out and not responsive call 911 and then call the people on my phone with ice next to their name and that's something I uh, recommend everyone doing if you don't do it already. For your emergency contacts are people that you want contacted in case of an emergency or ICE. That's what that stands for, in case of emergency. Um, so uh, the people know to call those people. And I have a whole section of ICE contacts. And... Uh, like I got my sister on there. I got a girlfriend. I got two different girlfriends on there. I got like a couple of different people around town on there. So they're all ice members. And, um, I told them, I said, yeah, everyone that you need to call in there is, uh, marked with the words ice afterwards. And so, um, about the only person who's not going to answer the phone is, more than likely my sister, because that woman never answers her phone, especially if she's at work or whatever, and it'll take her at least 15 to 20 minutes to get back to you via text message. And if she's at home, you're, you're extremely lucky if she's going to answer the phone. But, um, I told them, you know, afterwards, you know, thank you for showing this much concern and this much, um, support because i've had employers who have never 
gone to the links that this group of people have to know anything about my ailments. And so it was really kind of just nice to know that I had this support system. And um, I, I just have to say, it's been such an amazing journey and a process. Um, however, on my personal uh, Facebook pages and stuff like that, and even Instagram, I'm not going to be posting about my uh, going to the Y anymore because... Um, I'm going to start gatekeeping a little bit. And for those of you who aren't uh, familiar with the term gatekeeping, it's like picking and choosing what knowledge or information to give out to other people and so on and so forth, because had a little bit of a situation arise where the probability of some of my other friends showing up to the YMCA to work out or whatever might arise and I got really pissed off and territorial and just kind of angry about that like no fuck you guys this is for me like if I wanted you there I would have invited you to come along like I can't really explain it but you know I have a whole new group of people that I'm becoming friends with that I don't want to blur those lines with like I don't want to take people from my personal day to day and blur it with this new group of people and so I'm just like what do I do so I think that the best thing that I can do right now at this point is that I'm just going to stop talking about it altogether and like when I'm out at the bar or whatever I'm just going to stop talking about it and just tell people, yeah, I'm not, war I'm not going there anymore, or um, I stopped going there because of this reason or that reason, and just kind of leave it at that and see what happens. But yeah, um, it's the first time I've felt like that in a long time, or maybe even ever, where um, I'm usually an extremely open book, and if I know about resources or whatever, I want to share those resources with those, with the people that I know, because, um, I know what it's like to not only struggle, but needing help or needing a resource and not knowing where to turn. And I usually have my finger on the pulse of what's going on within the community and what resources are available for what kind of people and so on and so forth. So, um, <clears throat> this is one of those ones where I'm just kind of like, yeah, about all of that. I, I just don't know. So, um, my spirit is telling me that this is something that needs to be done right now. So maybe that's my lesson for 2023 is not to over, um, overshare my, experiences or situations or whatever and keep things a little bit more private and uh kind of like i said gatekeep so um that's kind of where i'm at right now with everything going on in life as it is and uh yeah but uh so far with my mental health and everything, that's been going really well. My physical health is getting a little bit better. I notice I'm getting stronger. Um, like every week, I'm able to stand a little bit longer, walk a little bit longer, just do things a little bit longer. Um, there's been a couple of nights where I, um, I've been able to stand up and cook my entire meal without sitting. And I know that sounds like completely like, what the hell do you mean standing up? Um, I got to the point, guys, where I lost all my core muscle and it was really difficult for me to stand for any length of time, let alone walk. And if you followed me over here from YouTube or if you've been on my YouTube channel and you've looked at some of my past videos, especially from like 2020 to 2021, um, 
I did a lot of walking and I was hiking and I was having fun and just like exploring my area and seeing new sites and just really enjoying life. And then I got my kidney stone back in like February of 21 and that completely knocked me out of commission. And by the time I got like back up and moving, I didn't get back up and moving type situation. So it was just really kind of shitty and it wasn't even 21. I think it was like 19 to 20, but whatever. Um, so I went almost a year and a half, two years with not getting up and going and walking or doing any kind of exercise or anything like that, where I had done so in the past and um so i just lost all the muscle and the progress and everything that i had built up but um i'm at that point where i'm almost ready to start walking again like i'm going to start forcing myself here uh rather soon i want to be able to get back out on the trails by april and um right now here in the pacific northwest we've we're in our winter months and so it's been a really raining and cold and all that other stuff so i'm taking it kind of easy and still building up my muscles and like trying to work on like getting my legs and my core built back up and especially my lower back muscles that's one thing that i've really been working on um because that's where i that's where i have the most problem is my lower back and um when i'm walking that's the first place that gets hit with a lot of pain and stuff like that. So anyways, I got a lot of, um, a lot of plans for my continual health and things that I want to do from there. But, um, yeah, so far everything is going really well. My mental health check-in went well. My doc, um, my, therapist counselor provider whatever the hell you want to call him said michael you got this under control um i'm gonna go ahead and discharge you but i'm gonna keep you active in the system so if you have if the wheels fall off the bus you know call me and we'll get you back in here and we'll get you talking or what have you and we'll just go from there so um i am feeling very confident in my uh depression management right now and i think a lot of it has to do with the fact that i'm using my sun lamps and that i'm getting out and exercising and doing things daily and um i'm just i'm in a momentary like happiness i guess and i'm hoping that it's not going to be momentary but you know i i don't if you deal with bipolar depression and all that other stuff, you you'll understand what I mean by that momentary happiness, because there's times within your life where you are just super happy. Everything's going great. And then you'll sneeze. And then all of a sudden everything in the world is horrible. You feel like you have the weight of the universe sitting on your shoulders. You're crying. You're out of control. You're spinning down a a spiral or whatever. And so thankfully the little bit of depression that I've had the last couple of weeks has been manageable and it's been more of like just sadness versus depression. And um, there's a very fine line there with sadness. It was more of like, missing my father, missing my grandmother, remembering like childhood Christmases and like holidays with the family and stuff like that. Not so much just being f or feeling hopeless and depressed. And like, there is nothing left for me to give to this world and stuff like that. So, um, a little bit of a fine line there. Uh, 
but you know what? I feel good right now. So I'm hoping that this will continue at least for a few more months uh, before it com- before the well or the dam breaks and everything gets released. But I've been trying to sit with my emotions lately, um, allowing myself to feel sad, feel angry, feel happy. Um, so as I f- start to feel upset i'll sit there with my with those feelings for just a few for just a couple of minutes and i'll allow myself to feel them and express them and then i you know for lack of better terminology let go and let god and just kind of like okay we've experienced that it's not going to be productive it's not going to be you know it's not going to be helpful so let's move on um My um, counselor also had said, you know, a lot of times when you're angry at the moment, it could be your anxiety. And he said, you really focus on, okay, am I actually pissed off and angry and wanting to quote unquote Hulk smash the world? Or am I just anxious? Is this my anxiety? And it's taking the form of anger and rage and i was like well you know what's the difference and he said well there is a huge difference if you know that it's something that's making you anxious and then that's causing you anger because you're already anxious you can look at it and be like okay what can i do to alleviate my anxiety right this moment versus what can i do to alleviate my anger because a lot of times when you try to alleviate your anger it can be destructive. So looking at that, having that new tool set to like, oh, you know, I never even thought of take or looking at the anger as an extension of the anxiety or whatever else, because I do suffer with anxiety and I do. So I was just like, okay, you know, thank you for that. And, try to go on from there and but anyways um i'm gonna get off of here i'm done blah blah in y'all's ear um so welcome to 2023 i hope this year is good for you and it's good for me and um if you have any questions comments concerns you can put them in the comment section down below or you can shoot me an email to hello cupcake it's me at gmail.com also, head on over to uh, the YouTube channel, Hello Cup, or <laughs> YouTube.com slash Hello Cupcake It's Me, and go uh, follow along with my videos and stuff over there. And then uh, go check out the blog, Hello Cupcake It's Me.com. And um, until next time, I will talk to you all later. Bye, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. You have been listening to. Hello Cupcake, it's me, a podcast with your host, Michael Peterson. Please make sure to check back often as new episodes are released bi-weekly. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to send a message to hellocupcake, it's me, at gmail.com. And until next time, stay happy, safe, and keep doing the best you can with what you have been given.